Hello, students. Good evening. Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, great. Hello, Thanks for. Fine, Hi. Hello, welcome. Fine. It's, yeah, it's a great pleasure to have you back, guys, after a nice weekend. And also, you know, we just need to have some time to rest, you know, to have energy for this process. So, I hope that you have enjoyed it a lot your weekend. And you know, because the weekend sometimes goes so fast. You know, we start the weekend and then suddenly we are, the weekend goes so fast. So guys, welcome to our English class. And it's a great pleasure to have you here. And also because of your responsibility to be here on time. And that is the absolutely important to, you know, to work a lot to do our best in order to learn. Um, como sabemos, pues que inglés es un proceso, es, es un idioma, entonces vamos aprendiendo paso a paso cada día. Entonces es algo muy valioso que tenemos que tomar en cuenta, right? The importance about learning the language is a process. So we just go step by step trying to do our best in maximizing our English skills. So let's start, vamos a dar inicio. A nuestra, a to our class, and also I expected that you have taken a time to study and have a review about the topics. Pues que hayan tenido un repaso de las actividades, que hayan estudiado el material, so that is very valuable. Uh, because not just what we have studied in the class, if not one of the secrets for learning English actively and fast is to take some time out of our class to practice. Y eso es una, una buena estrategia, es decir, eh, un, un secreto es eso, para tratar de estudiar no solo en la clase, sino también afuera de la clase, también es, nos pasa. Hay personas que estudian, por ejemplo, inglés, pero se quedan ahí, es decir, lo que viene a clase y ahí hasta que voy a la siguiente clase, me acordé y, y entonces, pero eh, lo que usted estudió lo tiene que reforzar de alguna manera in un espacio que quede o utilizando otros recursos, using technology. Now with technology, it's easier in comparison to years ago when people studied English and, they, and not just English, other languages too, without the necessity to, I mean, to learn. I mean, he, with uh, technological resources, everything is easier like many years ago that people studied English. Es decir, con los recursos tecnológicos es mucho más fácil aprender un idioma en no solo inglés. Uh, cuando aprendí inglés, pues no teníamos muchos recursos tecnológicos como lo que tenemos ahora, las famosas apps, los translators, the platforms, everything was like, it was not common, and we just had to learn English in a very formal and traditional way. Hoy es mucho más práctico aprender un idioma, and thanks God that this is a part of the technology, how technology has improved. Entonces, es algo que, que también tenemos que sacarle mucha ventaja. Y la ventaja de las tecnologías. Antes no teníamos esto de que we are in a platform, uh, having an online class, so we just uh, feel good because we stay home because of the time and we are here to learn. And that's, that's fascinating. Así que, pues, aprovechemos al máximo. Let's practice and also uh, enjoy our class because that's the most valuable. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go. Well, so we guess we start in that case the next part of the process. It, we start the unit number three, and also we have the beauty conference number five. And there is a goal that objective that we hope to reach in our English class. And it says that in this class, you will listen to a conversation titled Are You from Zeld? This conversation illustrates yes, no questions and WH questions, which we will learn in future lessons. So that's mean that this class, we will practice a conversation. Look at this one. This conversation is about nationalities. When we meet people from other countries, People from Mexico, people from Spain, people from Honduras, people from Guatemala, 
people from Russia, from Sweden, from different places. We ask about nationalities. Where are you from Salvador? Are you from Mexico? And also, we can say yes or not in this conversation. So, let's see what happened here. Veamos de qué se trata. Ya que esto me, me suena como para preguntar de dónde eres. ¿Eres tú de este país o no eres? ¿Y cómo voy a responder yo si me preguntan? Le preguntan a Génesis. Bueno, Génesis, ¿es usted de Salvador o es usted de allá de Inglaterra? And she has to answer. She has to give an answer about this question. And also, you can see here this one. What's the topic? What are you from? That's that's uh, something interesting about this one. The, uh, just look at the chart where it says the 10 largest cities in the world. Veamos ahí el, el chart, que es como el, ahí el cuadrito que está ahí con la información. Y vamos, que, que dice? Let's see what happened. Um, the 10 largest cities in the world. Ahí podemos ver las ciudades más grandes, ¿verdad? las ciudades más grandes, en este caso, del mundo. Ahí vemos, hay ciudades gigantes que se le llama, you know, mega cities, because are bigger in comparison to other cities. So the, we could say that they are the biggest. In that case, the 10 largest cities in the world. Y tenemos las cities y tenemos las countries. Tokyo, Mexico City. New York City, Seoul, Sao Paulo, Jakarta, Osaka, Delhi, Mumbai, Los Angeles. And we have countries like Brazil, India, Indonesia, Japan, Mexico, Korea, and the United States. So look at this one because we have the cities and also we have the countries. There are beautiful cities uh, and also beautiful, you know, inside every beautiful country. And also in every city, there are a lot of people because those are huge, you know, huge cities. And it says, based on the population in the metropolitan area. Y tenemos ahí una instruction, what it says. Match the cities with the countries. Then check your answers at the bottom of the snapshot. What other large cities are in each country and where, what large cities are in your country? En este caso, vamos a trabajar en lo siguiente. Vamos a unir el, la ciudad con el país. Por ejemplo, Tokyo. And uh, what country? Japan. Oh, Japan. Japan. Okay, Japan. Japan. Yeah, that's good to talk about Japan. Uh, do you like Japan? Japan. Do you like Japan? Yes. Well, what, what do you like about Japan? There are perhaps we haven't gone yet, but someday we hope. Pero que han escuchado o que, o que han visto de Japan? Something that you like about Japan? Yes. Es una cultura bastante interesante. Hay un respeto para las personas mayores por su sabiduría que dicen que la tienen y también a las personas jóvenes también la respetan. Uh -huh. La tecnología es bastante de punta. Ok. Mm, bueno. That's, that's great. I mean, it sounds interesting to know about the... Yeah, to, to know about interesting cultures. Like, people are, like smart people and also they have you know a lot of knowledge we could say wise they are wise people entonces hay muchas cosas we know a lot about the cities and also about the countries too okay entonces vamos a unir el país con la ciudad y luego after that one we will do the next thing what other large cities are in in each country que otras you know ciudades también hay por ejemplo, usted conoce, por ejemplo, en Brasil, ¿qué otras ciudades son grandes también? Lo puede mencionar. ¿Qué otras ciudades hay en Estados Unidos que son grandes? También las puede mencionar. Y luego vamos a contestar the last one. What large cities are in El Salvador? So you think about 
the largest cities in El Salvador. ¿Qué otra es? Ciudades grandes tenemos en nuestro país. So, that's what we have to do. San Salvador. Okay, this is, this, is, this is what you have to do. Well, so we're going to take some time to answer first. I will give you a couple of minutes to check para que usted pueda no, no, responda y luego la socializamos en la clase. Remember that you had a freedom to talk. Siempre tiene la libertad de participar, practicar y pues no le tenga miedo de aquí al micrófono. Pues, you speak. Ya que aquí estamos aprendiendo and the motivation is the most important. Okay, so take some time and then we will share our answers. Así que, si alguien ya termina, cuando termine, me escribe en el chat, finished. That's mean that you concluded the exercises. Like the ones that I have here in the chat. Okay, let's do it. Questions for the moment? Questions? Okay. 
preguntas hasta el momento? Okay, great. So don't forget to write the finished or the say teacher, I finished. If you conclude the exercise. Okay, ready? Hello? Yes, okay, so, you know, ready, ready. So let's try to check together this information. Okay, perfect, thank you. I know that you are writing here. Yes, por ahí me escriben que ya estamos listos. Vamos a ver. Tokyo, what city is Tokyo? Japan. Japan. Japan, right? It's letter D, Japan. Yes. What about Mexico City? Mexico. Mexico. It's Mexico. That's the pronunciation in English. Mexico. Okay. So we talk about Mexico and then we have about New York City. They will say. say. Yes, United States of America, so Mexico City, and also New York is a very, very famous city. People consider um, New York as the capital of the world. How interesting is this? Is considered the capital of the world. So let's see the next one. We'll see the next one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sailed. Korea. Korea. It's Korea. Okay, the pronunciation is Korea. 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 Yeah, so this is in Korea, sailed. So it's also a beautiful city and very modern too, with uh, interesting technology. What about Sao Paulo? Brazil. 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 <laughs> Okay, Brazil. Yes, Brazil. Interesting, you know, to know about Brazil. And what about Jakarta? Indonesia. I don't know. Hello. India. Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh, and Japan. also... Yeah, so you can see that the, the, the Jakarta, it's a very interesting city. It's, you know, also it's it's a city that's very huge. I have like seen this in, and there is also near to some, as we call in English, como una tipo provincias, right? It's Indonesia, right? That's the name. Indonesia. Yes. So we're going to move it in letter C here. But it's interesting, by the way. What about Osaka? Japan. Japan. Yeah, Osaka is in Japan, too. It's Japan. letter D, too. Yes, it's letter D. And what about, um, we're talking about Delhi? India. India. It's in India, too. Yes. It's a huge city, too. 
by the way, it's very, very huge it's in India. People say that living in India, it's very, very challenging. Life in India is very complicated, some places depending. What about uh, Mumbai or Bombay? India. India. In India too. <laughs> yeah, it's in India too. And Los Angeles. USA. In USA. 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 Los Angeles in California. So it's good to know about this. Interesting cities. Yeah. What other cities do you find in Brazil? What other big cities can you find in Brazil? Rio de Janeiro. Oh, Rio de Janeiro. Okay. What other is? And for example, what about India? What can you tell me about? What other cities do you know about? Oh, Brasilia too? That's the capital of Brazil? Yes. In India, there are some interesting cities. Um, for example, in India is one very famous called Calcutta. Or oh, Chennai, that it's very, they are very famous in, in India. What about uh, famous cities in Indonesia? Uh, Bali. Ah, okay. Bandung, okay. Uh, Jakarta. There is one that is very famous that is called uh, Bandung. It's very famous in in Indonesia, right? So people know about this one. What other cities do you know about Japan? Other cities, famous cities in Japan, do you know? For example, the capital, you know, we have Tokyo, and also there is a famous city called Kyoto. And then they also, for those bad things in Nagasaki, that is a, a very famous city too in Japan. Mexico, what cities do you know in Mexico? Tijuana. Okay. Cancun. 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 Guadalajara, Monterrey. Okay. Baja California. Oh, nice. Guerrero. San Miguel de Allende. Nice, nice. Guadalajara. Mérida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are interesting cities there. And what about Korea? Mm -hmm. Gangan. Sorry? Gangan. Oh, okay, okay. That was you. Busan. Busan, that is a very famous city. I just remember because of the World Cup in Korea and Japan, 2020, 2002, I guess. So, yeah. What other Seoul. cities? In Korea, okay. Okay, good. And what about United States of America? What uh, cities do you know about United States? Washington. 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 Okay. Georgia. I'm sorry. California. Korea del Sur. Korea del Norte. No, in Georgia. United States. In, in, in the United States. Okay. Georgia. California. California. Oklahoma. Okay. Yeah, huge. huge. Washington. Kentucky. Mm -hmm. But no KVC. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> yeah, actually it's good, right? So we know that beautiful, you know, cities around the world that are beautiful places that perhaps we know are huge cities. And if I'm asking you a little bit about what large cities are in El Salvador, what cities can you tell me about? What city is it? in El Salvador? Santa Ana. Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. Aguachapán. San Miguel. Pan. Okay. San Miguel. La Libertad. Santa Tecla. San Salvador City. That's the capital. Okay. Ilopango City. San Jacinto. Okay. 
Mexicano. Mexicanos, mexicanos is yeah, it's pretty it's big. Yeah, so those there are some specific cities. Okay. Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla is a big city and very beautiful too. Remember that we are talking about departments, but in in every department there are cities, right? In cada departamento hay ciudades. So the, what cities do you know about in El Salvador? And also Santa Tecla is a very nice city inside the Libertad department. Yes. Okay, so let's continue. Y tenemos una conversation. It's welcome new students. Okay, what do you see in the pictures? Kevin and us in las imágenes in English. What do you see in the pictures? The party. Oh, there's a party. Do you like parties? A people conversation. Mm, okay, people having a conversation. What else? Welcome student. Uh huh. It's a welcome party. What else do you see? A call new student. Okay. What else do you see in the picture? What else? The food, the food, the drink, also the table with the, some food, right? Always has to be, and people are eating, it's... yeah, eating and having conversations. Are they students from university or are students from a school? University. I'm in East California now. University. Okay, so look at this conversation. And also, this conversation is between Tim and Jessica. So that's good. They are talking about school time. So let's listen and practice the following conversation. Let's see. Tony from Italia. Okay. Let's see here. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Zales, are you from Zales? No, we are not from Zales. We are from Daejeon. So it's your first language Korean? Yes, it is. So look at this one. It's actually a very simple conversation because they are asking about nationalities. Veamos que dice. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now. So they live there. But we're from Korea. Y vemos la palabra original. Y como es, en este caso, original, lleva una L y al final, esto se convierte en un adverbio. Entonces, la mayoría de palabras que terminen con una L y una Y, pues, muchas veces son adverbios. Entonces, si decimos que es original y originally, originally, para decir originalmente, right? But we are from Korea originally. Ya que hay personas que son de otros países, pues si se van a Estados Unidos y nacen en Estados Unidos. Entonces, pues llevan eso. Um, oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are from Daejeon. So, is your first language Korean? Entonces, ahí le pregunta que si es el coreano, su primer idioma. Entonces, ahí vemos que la palabra es language. Language. If that is Korean, your first language. Entonces, vamos a trabajar en este momento, en esta conversation, in a brief way. We'll take a couple of minutes to practice. Ya que pues el tiempo se va súper rápido. Llevamos half an hour in this conversation. And the most important is the practice. Ya que a veces eh, olvidamos, dejamos la pronunciación al final. Y pues tiene que ir a la mano. Vocabulary expressions. ¿Alguna palabra que ustedes no identifiquen en esta conversación? Mm. 
Is there any word that you don't identify in this conversation? They do. Es una ciudad. En esta conversación, well, ¿qué, qué significaría? Ah, bien, es como, bien, es como decir, bien, uh, mi familia es, es como una, una respuesta. Entonces, cuando te dicen, hey, estoy en California, bien, mi familia está en California. So, so that, that's the meaning about well. Mm, yes, yes. yes. La penúltima línea, al inicio, ¿cómo se pronuncia? No, we're not from sales. We are from Daejeon. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. No sé si pueden ver el chat. Yes. Sí. Okay, so I send the, the, the pronunciation about this conversation. Así que vamos a tomar unos break rooms. Eh, vamos a tomar unos minutitos, practica. Y luego regresamos. Así que siempre recuerden, cuando vayamos a practicar, tratemos de darle una voz diferente a la nuestra. Así como la práctica. Are you from South from California? Jessica, entonces nosotros le damos ahí el acento porque muchas veces lo leemos con, con a nuestro estilo, como a nuestro idioma, pero este tiene una pronunciación diferente. Entonces, esa es la práctica. Por ejemplo, yo no voy a decir, por ejemplo, Are you from California? No, que se te va a dar un, un estilo diferente. Are you from California? Entonces ya le da un, un tono distinto y la conversación se escucha mejor. Ok, así que let's practice and let's see what happened here. Vamos a ver, vamos a elegir los break up rooms. Ok, let's go.
Seoul. Are you from Seoul? Hello. Hello. Um, look at your screen. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> A ver. Um, A ver, Lady Miriam, practíquenlo. A ver. Decidan quién es quién. Eh, voy a hacer Tim, Jessica. O sea, Katherine, pero la verdad no sé si le va a funcionar el audio. No escucha. Y ya se terminó la Caterina, no le escucha el audio. Eh, Caterin, se le... No se escucha. Tiene problemas de micrófono. Sí, está fallando bastante. Bueno. Me parece en Lady Miriam, a ver. Eh, vaya, ahora sea, voy a hacer tiempo. Vamos, vamos a volver ahí. Eh, Miriam, Jessica. Bueno. Eh, ¿Are you from Carolina, Jessica? With my family is in California, no, but, but where? But where from Korea originally? Korean. Korean. Original. Original. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, I will not from Seoul. With from the the gym the chain. Mm -hmm. um, so is your first language Korean? Yes. X is okay. That's right. Uh, si quiere, repitamos uh, um, todo de una sola vez para que algunas palabras. Eh, eh, las pueda familiarizar vaya are you from California lo mismo voy a repetir ajá uh -huh. uh, are you from California Jessica ok well well my family is my family is in California now in California now but where from but what from where where from where from korean 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 original original oh, oh my mother is my mother is korean korean from seoul from seoul are you from seoul are you from Seoul? No. No. We're not from. We're not from. Seoul. Seoul. We're from Beijing. We're, we're from DJ. Beijing. 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 Mm -hmm. 
So is your first. So so is your so, first. So is so, your first. So is your first language. Language. Korean. Korean. Yes. Yes. It is. It is. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Ah, yeah. Ya estamos todos. Well, my family is California now, but we're from Korea originally. I am not from New York. Not late. She is not from Russia. Not from English. We're not from Java. You're not Italian. Then they are not make in Mexico. Are you from okay. California? Well, so we see here everybody in the practice. In that case, we will focus about the grammar, negative statements, and yes, no questions would be. In that case, we will take a short time to practice and also with this following information here, tenemos, por ejemplo, the following details about yes, no questions would be. Y tenemos, por ejemplo, algunas oraciones, we have some statements, for example, I'm not from New York. Cuando usamos el verbo be en forma negativo, le agregamos el not más la contracción. Por ejemplo, digo, I am, I'm not from New York. You're not late. Yes. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They are not in Mexico. We are, <laughs> we are equal, we are, we are, we are. Entonces vemos las oraciones negativas, le agregamos al, después del verbo be, le agregamos el not. Ese not, pues nos va a generar ahí, como vemos, la forma negativa. Le agregamos el not después del verbo be. En este caso aquí se utilizó una contraction, por ejemplo, I'm not, you're not, she's not, he's not, or his, it's, We are, you are, they are. De una forma natural. Vemos ahí, um, you are, his, she's, it's, we are, you are, they are. Voy a decir, they are, they are, utilizando contractions. Y vemos una pregunta. Para la pregunta, el verbo be pasa al, al inicio. Y posteriormente le agregamos el pronombre para hacer una pregunta. Are you? Eres? Am I? Soy? Is she? Es ella? Is he? Es él? It's, is it? Es? Are you? Eres? O son, porque como en este caso ya es plural. Are you? Are we? Somos? Are they? Son ellos? Y vamos ahí la estructura. Are you from California? ¿Eres de California? Yes. O oh, puede decir usted I am. O oh, I'm not. Am I early? Yes, you are. O oh, you are not. Is she from Brazil? ¿Es ella de Brasil? Yes, she is. Or she's not. Decimos no, she's not. Is he from Chile? El, el, ¿Es el de Chile? Yes, he is or not. He's not. Is it Korean? ¿Es coreano? It is. Or it's not. O no lo es. Are you from China? 
we are, but we are not. Entonces vemos ahí eh, si es de Korea or China. Are we late? Estamos tarde? You aren't or you are not. Are they in Canada? Yes, they are or no, they are not. Entonces vemos cómo va la estructura del eh, affirmative and negative. Yes, no questions. Veamos otro cuadro similar. A similar information about this one. For example, we see here the yes, no questions would be. Y vemos la oración, la oración en negativo. La forma yes, no questions, es decir, la pregunta en forma de pregunta. Y tenemos the short answer. So, I am a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Am I a doctor? Yes, you are. Or no, you're not. Entonces vemos ahí la forma. Siempre con el verbo to be. ¿Soy un doctor o no soy un doctor? ¿O soy un doctor? Y, la, y el signo de interrogación cuando es pregunta, al final, the interrogative sign. Yes, you are. Or no, you're not. You are correct. You are not correct. Or you aren't. Or you're not correct. Are you correct? Yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Or I am not. Depende si lo hacemos en forma natural o en forma contractada. He's from England. Él es de Inglaterra. He's not from England. Él no es de Inglaterra. Is he from England? Es él de Inglaterra? Yes, he is. Or not. He's not. Or he isn't. Como nosotros lo vemos ahí en esta estructura. Seguimos con it. She's busy. Ella está ocupada. She's not busy or she isn't busy. Is she busy? Yes, she is or no, she is not. Ahí vemos nosotros eh, la forma. Vamos con it. It is a cat. It, it is a cat. Is it a cat? It's not a cat. Miren qué interesante. Look at this one. No es un gato. It is not a cat. It, is it a cat? Es un gato? Yes, it is or not. Is, it is not. We are ready. Estamos listos. We are not ready. Are we ready? Estamos listos? Yes, we are or no, we are not. Oh, no, we aren't. Are you hungry? ¿Estás hambriendo? Yes, um, ¿estás hambriento? You're not hungry. No estás hambriento. Are you hungry? ¿Estás hambriento? Are you hungry? Yes, we are. No, we are not. Are they? They are the same. Ellos son los mismos. They are not the same. No son los mismos. Are they the same? Son los mismos? Yes, they are. No, they are not. Entonces vemos cómo eh, usamos la oración, la forma negativa, cuando le agregamos el not. Cuando es pregunta, el verbo be va al inicio y luego va el pronombre. Am I? Are you? Is he? Is she? Is it? Are we? Are you? Y el signo de interrogación que nos tienen que indicar si es en forma escrita. El signo de interrogación y la forma como lo, lo, la, la, la entonación. Por ejemplo, no lo voy a, yo no voy a decir, uh, am I a doctor? Sino que, am I a doctor? Dándole la, la pronunciación de, de pregunta, como te digo. ¿Tienes hambre? Nosotros le damos un, una entonación distinta. Porque es pregunta. Am I a doctor? Or are you correct? Is he from England? Is she busy? Is it a cat? Are we ready? Are, are you hungry? So we ask questions. Y la forma corta para responder si decimos que sí o no. And as far as the structures. Vamos eh, brevemente a verificar este ejercicio. So you can help me with exercise aid specifically. Vamos a verificar rápidamente el ejercicio A, the exercise A, so we can also corroborate the structures. Para eso, pues veamos. Mm. 
Look at this one. Vamos a tratar de elegir la mejor respuesta utilizando el verbo be. So identify it. Meanwhile, you will give me some time to check the attendant list. Así que vamos a verificar la lista de asistencia. Pueden revisar el, el grupo y verificar ahí el ejercicio que estoy presentando, ya que voy a dejar de compartirla. Let's look at this. So let's check the site. Disculpe, le tomo captura a esa lámina que puso el teacher. Hello. Hola. Yes, tomo... ahí está, eh, en el chat. Ah, ok. Del WhatsApp, Gracias. WhatsApp, WhatsApp, yes. WhatsApp. Thank correct, you. correct. It's in WhatsApp. Teacher, ¿y puede mandar las otras dos que puso antes? ¿Qué es? Sí, eh, sí. de hecho también está en la presentación que les compartí. Sí, ahí, es donde me, ahí donde me cuesta entrar, teacher, mándeme la mm. WhatsApp, por favor. Vaya, Mañana también no este, ver. no sé si ustedes, eh, bueno, aprovechando la oportunidad, eh, ustedes, bueno, ahí cuando entran a la plataforma los ejercicios, ahí les aparece al lado derecho, donde hay un, ahí opciones, al lado derecho dice manual del estudiante, también ustedes pueden descargarlo por ahí, creo, Teresa, no sé si ya vio el manual ahí en la plataforma. Sí, sí, ya lo vi, creo que lo tengo descargado, no estoy muy Excel seguro. Excelente, muy bien. Sí, entonces ahí está también todo lo que vamos haciendo por, por contenidos. Usted puede ir revisando el manual también, Ay, ya que ahí está accesible para todos. Entonces, manual. Sí, can... Es el manual del estudiante, ahí está en la, en la plataforma. Y lo descarga y ya lo puede tener. Por ejemplo, ahí va a haber eh, las lecciones que vienen de la unidad 3, de la, de la parte 4, hasta la número 5, ahí están todas. Entonces usted puede decir, ¿y qué vamos a ver en la siguiente, en la siguiente semana o qué vamos a ver en la siguiente clase? Ahí ustedes pueden adelantarse también eh, con la información que tenemos. Gracias, teacher. Okay, let's check the attend list. You listen your name and you say present. Like every single class we have, we check this. So just give me one second. Uh, Monday 24th. Ana Claudia Mejia, I guess so. Let me check, let me check. Uh -huh. Ana, Present. okay. Ana Leticia Garcia. Present. Ok. Camila Alessandra Consuegra. Present. Eh, Damaris Milagro Hernández. Damaris. It's not. Eh, David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Marcela Cruz. Present. Fátima Esmeralda Rivera. Present. Eh, Fátima Guadalupe Hernández. Fátima. Eh, Fátima Saray Hernández. Present. Génesis Abigail Hernández. Present. Carla Vanessa Sánchez. Present. Catherine Guadalupe Corleto. Present. Uh, Lady Evelyn Guerrero. Present. Melissa Daniela Ángel. Melissa. Sí. Melvin Balmore Cruz. Present. 
Miguel Alejandro Rodríguez. Present. Miriam Maricela Escobar. Mi, Miriam Maricela Escobar. Present. Nelson Efraín Rivas. Present. Uh, Paola Stephanie. Rosa María Salazar. Present. Eh, Silvia Noemi Campos. Present. Eh, Teresa Yamilet Martínez. Present. Eh, Yanira del Carmen Rosales. Present. Yolanda Yamilet Andrade. Present. Ok. Eh, por ahí mencionábamos a... Eh, Fátima Guadalupe Hernández. Okay. So let's compare it because we are about to finish. Um, bueno, vamos rápidamente con la uno. Dice, eh, usted verifica conmigo. Irashi, are, are you and Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. Oh, are you from Tokyo? No, we are not. We are from Kyoto. Entonces ahí decimos, no, we are not, we are from Kyoto. La número dos dice, is Laura from the U.S.? No, she is not. She is from the U.K. Is she from London? Yes, she is. But her parents are from Italy. They, en este caso, she is not from the UK originally. Is Laura's first language Italian? No, it is not. It is English. No, it is not. It is English. Y la número tres dice, is are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No, they are not. They are from Brazil. Y la siguiente sería, are you from Brazil too? ¿Eres de Brasil también? No. I, I am not. I am from Peru. So, is your first language Spanish? Yes, it is. Entonces, nos queda esta manera, this uh, part of this conversation. Well, guys, we will continue tomorrow with the activities. And by the way, we took two minutes left. So, um. I really appreciate it the, to be here with you guys in the class. Y nos veremos en la próxima clase. En la clase de mañana vamos a continuar con el ejercicio B. Y hacemos un repaso del ejercicio A también. Y luego con el C. ¿Está bien? Ok, gracias. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Gracias. Ahí seguimos thank fortaleciendo you. más este tema porque lo vamos como iniciando en forma negativa. Ok, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night, you too.